Hi, this is Brittany with Hectic Free Kitchen. Today's video is one of my favorites. It's so fun because we are talking about the pressure cooker. And the pressure cooker is one of my most favorite kitchen appliances. If you are on the Plant Paradox diet, I 1000% recommend having a pressure cooker in your kitchen just as a kitchen staple um, because there are so many different uses you can get out of it that you're going to find are super helpful for opening up and widening your food options as you really dive into your plant paradox journey. And that is super important because we have found that a lot of our clients who start Plant Paradox, they feel like they can't continue because their diet and their food options are too limited, but nothing could be further from the truth. There are so many options with Plant Paradox, but a pressure cooker really widens those and it brings in a lot of those foods that initially are not approved because when you pressure cook them, a lot of the lectins completely um, or almost completely disappear, which actually ends up being good for your gut, good for your gut bugs. It helps create good gut bacteria and it can be really good for you. So we're just going to dive into a few points about a pressure cooker. Food cooked in a pressure cooker um, will actually cook faster and then the lectins are forced out. So that's one of the reasons why you can eat pressure cooked beans, especially and most particularly on phase three of the Plant Paradox program, because when you pressure cook them, the beans disappear and it creates really good bacteria for your gut to then create even more good gut bacteria. And in the end, it's just a really healthy, good cycle. So if you're missing beans from your diet, particularly in phase one, because you can't have them in phase one and in phase two, bringing them back into phase three is what a lot of our clients really look forward to and a pressure cooker makes that possible. You can also pressure cook your rice. If you're doing this, I do recommend pressure cooking them in advance and then refrigerating them and heating them up um, the next day and when you want it, it makes it so much more doable. You can also pressure cook your potatoes, your tomatoes, your squash, and your zucchini. So all of those are things that are not approved on Plant Paradox, but when you pressure cook them, it makes it eatable and delicious. So you can make your own tomato sauce. If you do some tomato and some basil, and maybe you throw some squash and some zucchini in there and you have a really vegetably hearty um, tomato sauce that something you missed a lot but it makes it doable with the pressure cooker which is one of the reasons why I just do recommend it because it opens up your food options so much. There are definitely certain things, even if you pressure cook, you still can't have, unfortunately, like oatmeal, that is going to be a grain that unfortunately will still have a lot of lectins, even if it is pressure cooked. So pressure cooking isn't a total save all, but it does open up your food options more than what you had before. Another thing that is similar to oatmeal is your animal protein. Um, your animal protein is what it is. So if your chicken is eating soy and corn and all these things that aren't good for it, it's being injected with hormones and estrogen and all these things that you don't want, pressure cooking is not going to get rid of all of that when it comes to animal protein. So just buy the best animal protein that you can and stick with those potatoes or tomatoes or squash for the pressure cooker um, where the lectins actually will disappear or or you know, go down in level by pressure cooking. That way your food options are widened up. We have so many great recipes that you can use with a pressure cooker or even without if you don't have one at our website, leptinfreekitchen.com. So certainly check us out. We strive to make this diet easier and doable and much better for you to do on the long term. Um, so check us out. We can't wait to share. If you have questions or comments, just comment below. Subscribe and like this video and we're so excited that you're here.